Good morning. I'm sorry these videos are so lame, but I'm getting ready for a baby, so I hope that you can <laughs> forgive me. It's time to talk about memorizing the polyatomic ions. Um, that sounds scary. What's a polyatomic ion, you might ask? Well, poly means many. And then atomic just means atoms, right? These are ions that have several atoms all bonded together in a unit. So, for example, take a look. If I have a phosphorus and it's bonded to four oxygens, that makes one big molecule-looking thing, right? Now, let's say that I took three electrons and I added them into my little four-leaf clover thing that I've got here, right? And those three electrons are extra electrons. Then that this thing here, this whole thing, would have a three minus charge. If I gain three negative one charges, that'll be a three minus, right? So a polyatomic ion is, you know, a molecule looking thing like this where things are bonded together. And then it either gains extra electrons or loses electrons as a whole. And it turns out that in chemistry, we have many different types of these ions. And, you know, there are a few that we have to just memorize. Dom, dom, dom. So if you look, right, the formula for this particular polyatomic ion that I'm showing you here, let me adjust the camera a little bit. Okay. I've got the same formula repeated over and over and over again, right? Each one of these things is identical, okay? And it's always going to have the same charge. So it turns out we can give this thing a name. Turns out it has a formula and a name. The formula here is PO4, 3 minus. Well, where did I get that from? How many P's are there? There's one P. The subscript after the P is one. And there's four O's, so there's four, right? There's the formula, and there's the charge in the upper right-hand corner. Formula and charge. And the name of this thing is called phosphate. Okay, Phosphates are PO4. The formula is always the same, and that's one that we just have to know. When I say phosphate, you need to know, oh, the formula is PO4 and it has a three minus charge. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna make one more quick video here that you're gonna watch and I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks. There are actually like way over 40 different polyatomic ions, but that's a lot to memorize. So what I've done is in the past, found out the 18 most important ones this is bare bones, folks. I can't cut it down any lower than that. And those are the 18 that I'm going to ask you to memorize. Now, on that sheet that you have, okay, uh, hold on, let me get my sheet out here. On this sheet here, you'll see there's actually only 18. Now, I'm going to show you more than just 18. That's okay. The ones on this sheet, these are the ones that you're responsible for. There are others, and so I'm going to show you those as part of a you know, sort of for your information kind of thing. Yeah, I'm going to show you the tricks so that you don't have to just memorize 18 random things. Hopefully that'll make it a little easier, but you will be responsible for learning each one. On this sheet, before I move on, before I give you, before I make the next video to show you how to memorize them more easily, I want you to notice what I've done here. These are the names, these are the formulas, and they have the charge also. And then there's some notes on here. Now, on the back side of that sheet, it's all blank. Guess what you can use that for? That's right, practice. You can actually practice writing these things out. Memorizing is a tricky thing for some people. Um, unless you just love memorizing, uh, you're going to need a lot of tools in your toolbox to be able to be successful at this. And folks, let me tell you, the people who memorize their polyatomic ions, they do better than the people who don't. People every year try very hard not to memorize them, and those are the students that have trouble, not just on the SOL, 
but on my test as well.